The Roots of the Materialism-Communism Connection Historically, this connection can be traced to the philosophies of Karl Marx, who was a materialist in the philosophical sense. Marx's historical materialism posited that material conditions, such as economics and class structures, shape society and history. His critique of religion as the opium of the people reinforced the idea that Marxism, and later communism, was anti-religious and inherently materialistic. For many religious thinkers, this materialist foundation of Marxism became synonymous with a rejection of spiritual values, leading to the following chain of thought. Materialism denies God. Communism is based on materialism. Therefore, communism denies God and promotes atheism. While communism often has been linked to state atheism, as seen in regimes like the Soviet Union, this doesn't mean materialism as a philosophy is inherently tied to communism. Materialism is not equal to communism. To clear up the confusion, materialism is a philosophical stance. It asserts that the physical world is the fundamental reality. Communism is a political and economic system. It advocates for the abolition of private property and the collective ownership of resources. While Marx integrated materialist principles into his analysis of society, not all materialists are communists and not all communists are atheists. For example, secular capitalism, a system like capitalism can also be materialistic, focusing heavily on consumer goods and wealth accumulation. Christian communists, some Christians embrace communal living and resource sharing, citing the early Christian communities described in the Bible, Acts 4 verse 32. Why Christians conflate them? Historical context. The Cold War, with its ideological battle between God-fearing capitalist democracies and godless communist regimes, cemented this association in the public imagination. Religious framing. Many religious narratives frame communism as not just an economic system but a spiritual threat because it often involves criticism of organized religion. Reductionism. By equating materialism with communism, critics can more easily dismiss both as threats to spiritual or moral values. Why this matters? This conflation is problematic because it oversimplifies complex ideas and hinders productive dialogue. For instance, materialism doesn't dictate politics. A materialist might be a capitalist, a communist, or politically neutral. Atheism isn't inherently anti-religious. Rejecting belief in deities doesn't mean rejecting ethical or communal values. The real issue often lies in the fear that materialist or secular frameworks challenge traditional authority structures tied to religion. Conclusion Moving past the straw man The correlation between materialism and communism is more a product of historical and ideological battles than philosophical necessity. Understanding the distinctions between materialism as a worldview and communism as a political system allows for deeper, more nuanced discussions about values, ethics, and societal goals. So the next time someone says, materialism leads to communism, ask them, does focusing on the physical world necessarily mean embracing a specific political ideology? The answer, as always, is more complicated and more interesting than the straw man suggests.